Hello, this is all from the Zpanel community and open source. Uh, today we're going to show you how to install the latest Zpanel X server control panel on a CentOS 6.4. Let's start. The first thing you want to do is go to zpanelcp.com and go to the download page and click on installer for CentOS 6.3. Once you got this page, here you got all your commands that you need to start to install the panel. Now, the first thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to log into my server. I'm going to use a program called Putty. I'm going to start to insert the IP address. Here we go, we got here the, the screen. I'm going to log in. Here we go. Once in, I'm going to start the installation. Now, first of all, as you can see here, there is two ways to do it. 64-bit and a 32-bit. So you want to know first what is your server. To know what it is, you can type this. You do a U name, and it tells you this case for me is a 64-bit. Also, I'm going to show you that I'm running the latest version of CentOS, as you can see, 6.4. Once I do this, Make sure now you got uh, the actual IP address, the outside IP address, the public one of your server, because without that you cannot install it. Okay. Now let's start. As I said, I got 64-bit. Now I'm going to do it easy way. Rather than write it, I'm going to copy and paste. So I'm going to copy this. That's 64-bit, as I said before. Copy. Press enter. It says the wget is uh, not found, so I'm going to install it. Now, sometimes this is a very minimal, so sometimes you need to install some of the, uh, you know, some of the programs. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause it for a second, and uh, I'll start again. So as you can see, that will get this node there, and we're going to install it. As you have installed that we get. I'll press yes. Now, if you got already there, that will get, you don't need to do this step, so you'll be starting from the next step. Now, that's been done. I'm going to start the installation. So I go back on this one. And I'll start. As you can see, the first step is done. That will be the second step. So we'll be retarded. As you can see, it's quite simple. I'm I'm not doing it technically. I just want to do it as simple as possible, so anybody can do it. Now this step is equal to all kind of installation thirty two and sixty four. And we just wait and install everything. That's been done. We go to the next step. I 
but this is the final installation final this is the actual installation of the pedal now you need to agree the actual uh, license oh, you can go through it this has been done as I said by Kevin Andrews so I'm going to press yes I believe this as it is, is Europe London again you can choose your own now because I'm not up reading all I'm doing is installing freshly but if you have 10.0.1 you can use this uh, just type 10.0.1 as it is with the dash and it will update for you so I press enter now now I got several um, domain names that I use just for tutorials and for this one I'm going to use CP for the uh, for the panel dot AG two thousand dot CK press enter. Now we're going to write the external IP. Again, this is an IP that I use just for tutorials. And I'm going to press enter. Now is asking for the password for my SQL. Strange. Okay, let's try again. This time we're going to make it a little bit easier. Alright, it works now. So I press Y. I think it was too long. I didn't like it. Although it says uh, it didn't match, but I think it was too long. It's very important that you write down all the information that you get at the end. That will be your Z admin password and the logins. I 
I'm going to uh, pause a little bit, otherwise it gets too long this video. And I'll resume it when the actual installation is done. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, as you can see here, the installation has been done. I'm going to press OK for a second. We got the generated password that you need to to actually get into the panel. You can also find the password along the information in the uh, password, I think, text inside the uh, root, I think. And as soon as the actual service restarted, I'm going to show you how to get those information anyway. Alright, so I'm going to open now uh, another page of and I'm going to log in. So I log in as root again. So I go in now and ls as you can see here this password text. Now inside this file there are all your information, logins, password for the MySQL and for the panel. I'm going to go inside and show you how to do it. Usually I do VI then password so, dot txt Here we go, that's the inside that's the actual password. Try to log in now. So we got the panel here now. Now the first things you want to do is change your password once in. You go to account, change password. I'm going to put the current password. 
and I'm going to type a new one. And it should be okay. As you can see, it's been successful. And here you got the latest panel running on CentOS. The version is 10.0.2. And as you can see, everything is nice and working. Lovely. Thank you again for following me for this short tutorial. Please subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and on Blogger and also logically on zpanelcp.com on the forum where you can ask any questions that you may have regarding the installation. Thanks again. I'll see you for the next tutorial. Bye.